It's a bike rack in a big brown box. Thule, Thule, Tool. What is it called? Hi, it's Alan from Thule. Alan, thanks for calling back. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. How's yourself? Yeah, fantastic. Thank you very much. So it wasn't really a massively technical inquiry, just more about the pronunciation. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, it, it's not easy. It's, uh, I'm actually Scottish, so I don't say it 100% correct either. But it's uh, Tule. T-O-O-L-E-E is the correct way to do it. Exactly. Fantastic. Well, thanks very much for your help. You've been a superstar. No problem at all. We're going to do this in three steps. Step one, unboxing. We gotta open this thing. Step two, assembly. I don't know if this item is pre-assembled. It's a box of bits, part assembled. I don't know, we're gonna find out together in a minute. And the third step is mounting it to the back of the caravan. And I'm gonna do this across two days, just because of the weather. It's really windy and miserable out there today. So we're gonna record the unboxing and the assembly today. And then on Saturday, we're gonna to go to the caravan. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's start with step one. Tools required box opening scissors. Let's see if we can do this without dropping it on the floor. There's a lot of stuff in there. Now normally I'd say first step, take these and did them. But there's a lot of parts in here and I've got no idea where everything goes together. I may have to concede and read the instructions. Now it's out of the box. It doesn't look as bad. There isn't that many parts. These instructions are not very good. Right, let's put the basic frame together. This seems to be quite straightforward. So we've got a lower section, an upper section. The instructions say to cut this to size, but I'm not gonna do that because it slides all the way in. I think you're only gonna need to cut this to size if you've got a shorter, version where you need to mount your own brackets. However, sorry, these things are really noisy when you bang them. Next step, put the other side together and push that all the way in. It might be when we get there, the distance between these two isn't right and we need to cut this. If it's shorter, if it's longer, it's fine because this can extend. Next bit, we're going to put a cross member on. There's little holes there to locate into this plastic section quick wiggle into place, make sure they've located, slide the ring on and tighten up. As per the instructions, make it really tight. And this section on the other side, wiggle that into place, tighten up. That's our basic frame, done. Two screws that are going here, but only once it's fitted to the caravan. These are uh, little cutting screws. When you use your drill to put these in, they'll cut a hole, self-tap it, and away you go. So you don't want to do that until it's fitted. I think I've managed to make sense of the instructions. I'm gonna try and show you. All the components. Number one, if you're fitting the brackets yourself, you can see here. Number two, cutting to size. I don't know. So I'm not gonna make any cuts today. Because I've already got the brackets fitted, I'm gonna ignore step one, step two. So I've started at step three. Step four is for Saturday when we fit it to the caravan. Good morning. It's Saturday. The weather is looking much better today. Clear blue skies. Um, we're in the shade a little bit, so I haven't got the sun in my eyes here. So let's get started. Here's all the parts. So there's the main bike bit. Here's the frame that we're gonna fit first. And that's the extra bar that I don't think we're gonna need. And there's the bag of bits. I put everything back in the bag, sealed it up so I didn't lose anything. And here are the bars on the back of my caravan. And this is a Thule, as we know now, standard fitment, not a short fitment. Gonna... Okay, so the first thing you need to do, remove the clips and edges and trim off the existing brackets. For that, you need a really small screwdriver. This look, might look big, but it's got a really fine point on it. Into the screw head and hold the collar. So with one finger, hold the collar, undo the screw, and then the whole thing pulls out. There's a couple of these that are stubborn. These top two 
are just turning and not coming out. So I'm going to try and get something just underneath the screw head just to give it a little bit of leverage. Because I'm at the storage yard, I haven't got all my tools with me. But there's one thing that's guaranteed to be here, a bottle opener that includes a little knife. That did it. I have got new clips in the pack, I've noticed. So if I end up damaging this clip, I'm not overly worried about that. So now these clips are out, the end piece comes out. This bar, I think, should pull out. The left side came out straight forward. I'm going to give it a bit of gentle persuasion. I think there's a little bit of Sikaflex holding it in place. Now the covers come off. You should be able to see there, there's a bit of excessive sealant holding this bar in place. And with the screwdriver, I'm just going to try and gently release this. Yeah, it comes off straight, easy. It's just a bit of excess Sikaflex. Next step is we're going to offer the frame up to the brackets and see how close it is, see if it goes straight on. Oh, do you remember at the beginning when I said, I'm not gonna cut anything? Yeah, I need to cut something. These tubes, these top tubes need to be cut down and I haven't got a saw with me. So I'm gonna have to go home, get a saw and a tape measure and trim them down. I'm gonna say by at least 25 centimeters. Let's continue this in an hour. Caravan storage owners come to the rescue with a vice and a hacksaw. Bear in mind, you're gonna need a hacksaw even if you've got the brackets fitted already you need to trim down those upper bars let's offer it up again this is what should have happened the first time okay let's see if we can get it fitted okay going back to the instructions it shows these little plastic clips clips go in the bottom section something like that the little plastic cup that goes on the end of the bracket. We'll push those in there. We need to put the top in and lock it into place and then slide the pins in to hold it in place. Order the pins go in first and it locks into the pin. Let's put the pins in first and see if that works. No, that makes no sense whatsoever. So now we put the plastic caps in at the bottom. We're gonna try and Put the top section in, locate the bottom section, which has gone in. And then I'm gonna try and push one of these pins in to secure this in place, something like that. And on the other side, it's going in, it's a bit tight, but it's gone in. So that is secured at the top, caps are in at the bottom. So now we're gonna put the pins back in at the bottom. I'm just gonna pull it out slightly maybe. Oh, there you go. That's gone in. It's a bit of a tight fit. Let's see if we can get this one in, that one in in much easier. So that's it, the pins are in place. That should be pretty secure. I'm just gonna try and loosen these a little bit so it sits naturally where it wants to be. There is only four of these new plastic clips, which means that we're gonna have to reuse the old ones as well. That's because when you fit this bracket yourself, you need the plastic clips for the lower one, but not for the upper one, because they're a different type of bracket to what's fitted to my caravan. So we're gonna use the new ones and two of the old ones, which is just as well there is some of these, because two of the old ones were not very good. All this clip does is hold this plastic cover in place. And then we're gonna get that small screwdriver again, tighten those up. Let's see if we have more luck tightening these up. I tried one of these new clips and it wouldn't go in because it's it must be molded together. So I think you've got to break it first into two separate pieces and then it goes in. So new clips, break them first, then screw them in. Final clip, break it, push in the base piece, screw in. And that's the frame fitted. This side feels really tight. This side has got a bit of movement. I'm wondering if I can compress this slightly. Yeah, that's tightened it up. I'm happy with that how that's fitted. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these self-tapping screws in. You're gonna need a drill to do this. You can't do it by hand. You might not be able to see this. It's got a little cutting head on the screw that cuts through the aluminium. Let's go, it's a bit noisy. That's it, done. Now we're gonna fit the lower section. That might actually help me doing this one person. Let's put these straps in place. Gonna save me dropping it. If you are doing this on your own, when you offer this up, put the straps in place. At least then you can hold it with the one hand. And I'm gonna go from the outside inwards. And you've got to squeeze the metal bracket together to get this in. It's got a nylock nut. Just gonna put it out on a tiny bit. Same on the other side. Now for the second bolt from the outside. Now get the nylock nut on there. Plastic section is captive, so the nut sits in there. Now we're gonna use the drill to tighten those up. I'm using an impact drill, so I'm gonna take this steady. I don't wanna over tighten it, it is aluminium. Tighten up a little bit more on this side. Now I'm gonna undo my straps at the back. I need to tighten that up quite a bit. Okay, we've got these bits, which are to hold it in place, but it's not really clear again in the instructions 
how to fit this. I'm gonna just keep playing around with it for a minute and see what happens. So we'll probably fast forward this bit. This end connects to there. This end connects to the bottom section. Put it on this way, put it push downwards first, then rotate it, and then it locks into place. Let me grab the other one. Watch in, push down, rotate. Secured. Okay, next step to fit these. These are the brackets that hold the bike in place and are gonna go up here. A short one and a long one. One for the outer bike and one for the inner bike. Let's see if this is straightforward. It looks like it's just a clip, but nothing so far has been straightforward. So we will maybe need to refer to the instructions again. To fit these fellas, loosen off this quite some way. Pull the bracket together and then this bit opens. So we're gonna clip that back on, back together, and tighten that up. And this is where the key go. It took me a while to try and figure out where the key's gonna go. That's to lock the bike in place. I guess you put these down and out the way. So again, same with this, undo this fella. I'm gonna undo it quite a way, because you need to get this piece lower than the end of this piece. And it'll clip it over, lock it back into place. Push those down out the way. That's it, done. I'll show you more about this bike crack in a couple of weeks. We've got a holiday booked. And we're taking the bikes with us. We're taking two bikes. I'll video fitting the bikes to it then to see how easy it is. Luckily, the bikes are quite light. So lifting up to this height isn't gonna be a problem. But one tool that I haven't shown you yet, hasn't been on camera, that's been really helpful in this, is my caravan step. Let me know in the comments if you fitted one of these bike racks, especially if you've got a Swift and the brackets are already fitted. And how you got on? Was it straightforward? Did the instructions help? Or do you agree with me, the instructions are useless. Just to recap, tools you're going to need. Hacksaw, Phillips screwdriver, but small. Maybe some kind of pliers to get these clips out if they're a bit stubborn. Allen key to tighten up this bolt down here. Screwdriver drill to get this screw in here. I think that's everything. I hope that wasn't too boring and I made a real pig's ear of it or made it look more complicated than it actually is. It's actually really straightforward, but I'm going to say it one more time. Just one more time. I promise. The instructions are pretty awful. I'll see you in the next one.